The man of many faces was known to fans recently as Bobby Rose but best known as the masked Altima Wolf. One of the best high flyers in South African history, on December 2010 Alex Carson passed away tragically at only 26. While wrestling fans have come to know his many faces, it is his family, friends and wrestling peers that shall fondly remember the man behind the mask. The highly popular Cradle Kid went without championship gold in 2010 but had memorable feuds with Exterminator, Super X and The French Connection, and continuing his advance up the tag team division. The kick artist racked up important wins on the big stage in India and in WWP, and is possibly destined for a title win in 2011. The Roughneck Oz took his game up a notch and provided for some of the wildest brawls in AWA in 2010. Trained at the Hard Knocks Academy and with eight years under his belt, Oz is one of the most ruthless heels in AWA and bears one of the most exciting finishing moves in the country. He is a former Coca-Cola Royal Rumble champion and awaits a singles shot at the All-Africa title. El Matador was one of the leaders of the thrilling AWA lightweight division in 2010, chasing revive for the title all year that led to a dramatic June encounter. Influenced by Lucha Libre and bearing the devastating heartbreaker as his finisher, the Puerto Rican heartthrob has been living his dream for only two years now and has a long career ahead of him. formerly known as Blankman put away his superhero gear a year ago and transformed into this gorgeous, a highly eccentric, pink-wearing character with a penchant for compulsive homoeroticism. Arguably one of the best and most underrated entertainers in South African wrestling, this gorgeous got huge wins over cruiserweight champion Johnny Blasio and quickly became a fan favorite. This gorgeous has yet to win championship gold. Former WWP World Heavyweight Champion, Strongman Joe Fury spent the majority of his 2010 challenging tornado for the title and feuding with Muhammad Nazim in solid encounters countrywide and in India. A popular main eventer in WWP, Joe Fury continues his path to recapturing former title glory. 2011 could be his year. Quite possibly the most improved rookie of the year, Mr. Money has carved a niche for himself as one of the most immensely popular wrestlers in AWA and someone that Cape Town fans look up to. His crucially title win thrust him further into the spotlight and placed him on an exclusive list of title holders in the AWA African crucially title six-year existence. A former AWA All-Africa champion, the unpredictable missing link continued his hardcore domination with wins in several important bouts throughout the year. Link made his presence known in many of Sean Cohn's matches, meaning a rematch could be in the future. He ended the year victoriously by winning the 2010 Coca-Cola Royal Rumble. Long-time veteran and practitioner of the old school with Springbok colors in judo, Terry Medu was a former AWA All-Africa Champion and WWP World Tag Team Champion. Alongside his son Zizo, he spent much of the year competing in the tag team division, holding the titles until mid-year. The legend's career is nearing 20 years. The charismatic Johnny Iceman Saban literally took over punishment wrestling in 2010 with new alliances and broken ties. One of the better light workers in the country and an equally talented innovator in the ring, the Yuba Hill Saban was trained by NMZ and became one of the top students to graduate from the APWA. Saban's ability to draw heat is second to none, and his career is set to take off with television on the horizon. Dubbed the club sensation and rightly so, Zizo danced his way through 2010 with consistently great matches in the new taking the ring. Zizo competed in the singles division as much as he did in the tag division with his father Terry Medu, and despite their tag team title loss, fans still rallied them on as they grew to become the most beloved tag team in South Africa. The town of 19-year-old participated in the 2010 WWE tryouts and was selected as one of the 12 final entrants. Zizo's future is extremely bright and a WWE signing could be imminent. The flaming rock star Vinny Vegas capped off 2010 by finally winning the AWA African Cruiserweight title in December, a title victory that was two years in the making. The talented all-rounder served as a strong mid figure and had notable matches against Max, Mr. Money, Fubar Revolution, among others. A war with arch enemy Johnny Blasio is expected to resume in 2011 after innumerable teases and build-up this year. Jason Steele entered the main event arena in 2010 with strong title challenges against WWP World Heavyweight Champion Tornado and proved to be one of the highlights of the year on WWP. 
Steele participated in the 2010 WWE tryout stand, along with Zizo Midu, who was chosen as one of the 12 final entrants, currently pending a future signing. In November he forged a new alliance with Ryan Cage and became the first ever APW Tag Team Champions, leaving the French connection in the classic. Steele continues to be one of the best raw talents in the country. WWP World Heavyweight Champion Tornado made several successful defenses throughout the year against much larger opponents such as Dill Fury, Ryan Cage and Jason Steele, defying expectations with regards to his age. A master of the Mutsell, Tornado bears 24 years of experience, having wrestled most of his career under a mask and following in the footsteps of the legend Danny Griggs, the original masked Tornado. Tornado is regarded by many of South Africa's high flyers as their influence and inspiration, and his legacy is very well in touch, having also trained over a dozen wrestlers, including his wife and daughter. Wrestling runs in the Dev's family blood. Now self-dubbed the Italian Scotsman, two-time champion Johnny Pozio held the AWA African Cruiserweight title for most of the year until losing it to rookie upstart Mr. Money. Palazzo's natural hill ability to draw tremendous heat was instrumental in making stars and opponents in 2010, and he is one of few who are able to adapt to change and grow each year. Palazzo started his career in 2002 with AWA and has truly become the heart and soul of the promotion. Terminator experienced a career renaissance in 2010 with a slew of excellent matches and new appreciation from the fans. His feuds with French Connection, Wado Kid, Johnny Saban and others were highlights of APWA in 2010. The powerhouse's year culminated in a classic ladder match against NMZ where he captured his first singles gold in front of his hometown to become the All-Africa Champion, a match that will go down as one of the greatest in South African history. The West Brand hero has grown in leaps and bounds to become one of the country's top prospects. The founder of the Africa Wrestling Alliance in 1995 and a true icon of South African wrestling, the Lion of Africa Sean Kuhn had a major year in 2010 with title retentions in big-time matches against the likes of the American 7-foot world travel giant warrior, Borsi, and kickboxer Ian Norky. A notably tough super heavyweight brawler with European wrestling techniques hidden in his arsenal, Sean Kuhn carries on a 23-year career that first saw him wrestle for his father and legend Jackie Kuhn. Sean Kuhn regained the AWA All-Africa Championship last December and carries on an incredible legacy with a multi-time reign that rivals that of Ian Wilkins in the 70s. In addition to being the reigning WWP All-Africa Champion for several months, the legitimately badass Ryan Cage added mixed martial arts to the CV in 2010, winning three pro fights in a row for two of South Africa's major MMA brands, EFC and XFC. Cage's intense demeanor, never-say-die brawling style, and rare ability to work well with any opponent, make him one of South Africa's finest pro wrestlers. His competitive and heated feud with Anunzi put APWA on the map in early 2010. Cage's hill turn led to a teaming with Jason Steele, after which they captured the APWA tag team titles to become the first champions. At only 25 years old, Ryan Cage is a true athletic prodigy and has a gleaming future ahead of him in combat sports. The most exciting and riskiest high flyer to its South African wrestling in many years, Revive carried the AWA lightweight division in 2010 and held the lightweight title until December, when he was dethroned in one of the top AWA matches of the year. The Daredevil Revive engaged in consistently great performances and had a particularly memorable, dramatic encounter with El Matador in June, with a title versus career wager rematch that is expected to occur next year. Revive's loose, innovative, enthralling and freeform airborne physicality has made him one of the biggest fan favorites in AWA, and puts him in a new class in South African wrestling. Before going professional and training at the Hard Knocks Academy in 2008, Revive started off as a backyard wrestler and gained a reputation for performing stunts at Cape Town nightclubs, as evidenced on tape. Revive is at the top of the new generation in SA wrestling. Three years in the making, Anunzi finally gets the number one spot on the annual Top 20. No other South African wrestler in 2010 put on as many excellent performances as Anunzi did, and when it came down to hard work, Anunzi worked the hardest out of everyone and reaped the benefits. 
Starting off here as the WWPL Africa champion, the all-round athlete Anunzi was involved in one of the year's best feuds against his own student Ryan Cage, eventually losing the title to Cage in February in a great encounter, two days after retaining the title in another brilliant two out of three falls match. He would go on to face Giant Warrior in a top build match that was filled with history, as his uncles Danny Voges and Danny Bricks had feuded with Warrior a decade ago in legendary bloodbaths. He returned to feuding with Ryan Cage at Anunzi Cage 4 and defeated him to become a two-time All-Africa champion. During his WWP tour in India, Anunzi waged war with the famous Singh family. The father of the Anunzi Pro Wrestling Academy, Anunzi retained his title in several defenses from June to November, leading to a feud with former friend Exterminator that ended the year with an epic ladder match, where he lost the title but earned even more respect for the amount of sacrifice he made that day in his amazing career-defining performance. Anunzi can very well be named the number one South African wrestler of 2010.